Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Rob from White Lines and welcome back to another quick fire episode. Splitboarding season is among us, so today we're taking a look at not one, but two splitboards from Weston. This here is the Hatchet Split and this is the all new Ridgeline Split. So just who exactly are Weston? Well, for us Europeans, they've only really started to make a presence over here in the last couple of seasons. As for the US and their home state of Colorado, they've garnered a pretty impressive reputation for not only producing some of the most exciting quality free ride snowboards and split boards on the market, but for giving back to riding communities with various scholarships, climate initiatives and backcountry educational camps. Put simply, they live and breathe snowboarding and we're a huge fan of their approach to making the backcountry more inclusive, safe and accessible for everyone. And what are their snowboards like? Well, needless to say, a brand with their sights set largely beyond the resort boundary are likely to have a pretty stacked lineup of solids and splits for all types of free riding. They've got a super impressive offering, being one of the few, if not only, brands to offer a virtually equal number of solids and split boards in men's, women's and unisex models. But today we're taking a look at two of my favourite options, which also happen to be two of the most contrasting in their nature. So let's take a closer look at each of them. The stark contrast in colourways is a pretty good indication of just how different these two split boards are. The Hatchet Split is a mega volume shifted directional twin backcountry freestyle inspired split, whereas the Ridge Line sits at the top of the lineup as Weston's flagship big mountain freeride option. As far as split boards go, you'd struggle to find two more different models, but both of them have got so much going for them. Let's start with the Hatchet Split. Now, I actually ride the solid version of this board and it's one of my go-to options for most days of the season, but generally speaking, the deeper the conditions, the better. You can ride this thing way, way shorter than a conventional free ride shape, about eight to 10 centimeters shorter, in fact. That's because the volume has been pulled in from its length and out into the width. This thing is super wide, about 28 centimeters through the waist. And this makes it perfect for slashy, surfy turns and tight lines through the trees. And because it's less directional in its shape, it's also ideal for bringing elements of freestyle into the backcountry. So think pillow drops, powder butters, boosting 180s off natural features, that kind of thing. The Ridgeline Split, on the other hand, has a much more directional outline with a setback stance, tapered outline, and a decent amount of length in the nose and tail for added stability and control at higher speeds. It's definitely no stranger to riding switch, but you'll get the most out of it when you're riding in your preferred stance. Now, both profiles feature elements of both positive camber and rocker sections, but they work in slightly different ways. So on the hatchet, there's a good amount of positive camber running through the mid body, but the nose and tail feature quite similar sized larger rocker zones. Now this means its performance in switch, especially in terms of how well it's gonna float, is almost identical whichever way you ride it. The Ridgeline Split, on the other hand, has a more pronounced and elongated positive camber, and the rocker section is definitely more noticeable in the nose. What that means is you'll have considerably more power and grip running through most of the board's running length, but still have no issues keeping it up in the deep stuff. It's certainly more geared towards high speed, steep angle backcountry descents where you really need to rely on the board to hold its line, especially when the conditions start to get a little bit dicey. So which one's stiffer? Well, given the type of terrain each board is intended for, the ridge line comes in a little stiffer than the hatchet split. This one's about an eight out of 10, whereas the hatchet is a little more forgiving at seven out of 10. Now they both feature full wood cores with added carbon stringers throughout the length for added snap and ollie power, but the Ridgeline Split provides just a little bit more rugged durability, whereas the hatchet is designed to feel a bit more playful and maneuverable. That makes sense as the Ridgeline is probably going to be your board of choice for venturing much, much deeper into the backcountry, so durability has been given the top priority in its construction, right down to the reinforced sidewalls to prevent any damage along the rails of the board. The hatchet does feature the slightly faster sintered base though, although the Ridgeline's certainly no slouch. I actually think that makes sense though, given that the hatchet is probably suited to lower angle riding, having that extra speed underneath is gonna help you glide when you're making lots of tight slashy turns through the trees, for example. 
What about the split specific features then? Well, you don't need to split hairs comparing the two. Weston know how important reliability and durability are out on the skin track, so they've equipped both boards with the same top end features. You'll find an inside edge with full sidewall on both of these, so you can always get some grip on any sketchy ascents, and they've even built the tails a little heavier than the nose to assist you with your kick turns. The Karakoram Ultra Clips are probably my favorite that I've tested out. They really lock the split together when you're riding and provide some extra torsional rigidity in the nose and tail, which make it virtually ride and feel like a solid board on the descent. Lastly, the forged tips protect the ends of the board from unwanted dings and impacts that could potentially burst the end of the board open. And that rugged top sheet adds some protection from repeated kick turns, which are likely to scratch them up. Right then, the all important question, which one should you get? Well, think about the kind of terrain you wanna be riding this year because the boards really are quite different in their nature. If you're new to the splitboard game or just fancy something that's primed for more mellow angle, creative free riding, then I think the hatchet would be a great option. It's just perfect for spinning, buttering, slashing, and popping off every natural feature in the side country and the back country. If you've put the hard yards in and been breaking trail for a couple of seasons now, the Ridgeline Split is one of the best big mountain, hard charging, free ride split boards out there. It takes no compromise approach to providing the most performance and durability out in the backcountry. And for those of you who know how much you rely on that when you're miles or even days from safety, this is gonna cover all the bases and then some. So there you have it, two very different but super impressive split boards from Weston for this season. There's increasing competition in the splitboard market these days, but Weston are no strangers to breaking trail and forging ahead with new and exciting shapes. And I have to say, I think these are two of the best ones out there. That's it from me, thanks for watching. And if you want any more information, you can check out both reviews of the Hatchet and Ridgeline Split, which I will stick the links to down below. Let me know if you've got any questions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more quick fire reviews. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.